The Seventh Seraph Carbine is back in Destiny 2, reintroduced as part of the Spire of the Watcher dungeon. So while this one is a reissue, it's got improved perks, plus it's got a brand new origin trait, making this one a very effective auto rifle. Well today I'm going to have a look at the stats and the perks and the girls to chase, plus how to get the Seventh Seraph Carbine in Destiny 2. Well if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell and roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss an update. Well before we get into the guide today, let me know in the comments what you think of the new dungeon, the Spire of the Watcher, and let me know your favourite roles with the Seventh Seraph Carbine. Well first up, let's have a look at the important information, that is how to get the Seventh Seraph Carbine. So to get this updated and reissued version of this carbine, you have to take part in the Spire of the Watcher dungeon introduced in Season of the Seraph. So you can find that one over on Savathun's throne world next to the Enclave, and you do have a chance at getting the Seventh Seraph carbine dropping for you at the first chest once you start to ascend the Spire. Well, next up, let's have a closer look at the weapon itself. So the Seventh Seraph Carbine is a legendary kinetic auto rifle with a precision frame, meaning the weapon's recoil pattern is much more predictably vertical. Looking at these stats, we've got 29 for impact, 58 for range, 39 for stability, 39 for handling, 41 for reload speed, 10 for airborne effectiveness. It's a 450 rounds per minute auto rifle with 34 in the magazine. This one also comes with the origin trait Rasputin's Arsenal, where breaking a target shield partially reloads the weapons magazine, which is the same as the Iklos weapons in Season of the Seraph. Well, next up, let's have a look at the Seventh Seraph Carbine God Roll Guide. So for PvE, Arrowhead Break, High Caliber Rounds, Reconstruction and Frenzy would be a decent roll. So with Arrowhead Break, greatly controls the recoil and increases the handling speed. High Caliber Rounds slightly increases range. Reconstruction, so the weapon slowly reloads itself over time up to double capacity. And Frenzy, so being in combat for an extended period of time grants increased damage, handling and reload for the weapon until you are out of combat. So it's good to see Reconstruction on this weapon that was previously exclusive to the Deepstone Crypt. So it's going to be really interesting to see those Deepstone Crypt perks on other weapons. Next up for PvP, Hammerforge Rifling Ricochet Rounds Dynamic Sway Reduction and Rangefinder would be a good roll. So with Hammerforge Rifling that increases range and Ricochet Rounds increases stability and slightly increases range. You got Dynamic Sway Reduction so it proves the accuracy of stability while continuously holding down the trigger. Then you got Rangefinder so aiming this weapon increases its effective range and zoom magnification. Well, let me know in the comments what you think of the returning 7th Seraph Carbine and let me know your favourite roles. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get the 7th Seraph Carbine in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the videos on the channel. Well, thanks again. I'll see you soon.